Hi, Kim Castellano here in Clifton at Weaselbrook Park, and I'm with... Jennifer Papa, I'm the Executive Director of City Green. And we're excited because something new, I just found out and I got myself a plot for our interns here um, at Power of One, and we are so excited that we actually have a community garden, mm -hmm. right? Yes. So tell us a little bit about this garden. So this is a county park, actually. So Passaic County did a big renovation of Weaselbrook Park, and as part of it, uh, we have been working with Passaic County on a dig-in program, which is a community garden program where we sponsor community gardens throughout the county of Passaic. Um, and all these municipalities with community groups and churches and people who want to grow a garden. And so when the county was doing this public park, they wanted to incorporate a community garden in it. So we worked with them. We actually created the design for this space and they built it. So it's been really amazing partnership between City Green and the county. And so now there are, I think, over 28 beds or so um, here and people can sign up for a bed and they can garden uh, all summer long. Right. Now this is in Weaselbrook Park. This is in Weaselbrook Park. Down from the uh, historic building. Mm -hmm. Yes, in Clifton. Okay. And we see picnic tables they have here. Yep. And there's, now there's a shed, so I guess so we get to share. So there's a tool share. shed, so the people who are gardening here can share that shed and keep their tools here. There's picnic tables, there's some apple trees, there's even a little story grove over here for children's activities. So it's really designed for um, a community sensibility, so everybody has their own garden plot, but we're, we're hoping is that the, you guys will create a community of gardeners and you could have events for kids or harvest events oh, or anything great. like that. So and I see that you excited. planted apple trees. There's apple trees, yep. We're hoping they'll fruit in a few years, so people who are in it for the long run will get to see those. Uh -huh. <laughs> so are there any beds left? There's a few beds. Are, are there any beds left? There's a few beds left. Yeah, a few there beds are a few left. beds left, and we City Green's going to garden in a, two of the beds with children from the uh, school around the corner. Oh, okay, that mm -hmm. was like school. 15. That's yeah. school 17. No, I think it's a. I think it's the Head Start, the preschoolers. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Right, because that's another program that you have. Right, is the we have a program called City Sprouts, and we work with little kids growing um, gardens and teaching them where their food comes from. Okay, mm -hmm. so they'll be using some of this here too. Exactly. This space. Yeah. Now, is that Julian? So this is Julian. So Julian, yeah. come here, Julian, come because over, Julian. he, Julian, you're the builder, right? I do a, a lot of the carpentry, yes. The carpentry. Yes. So when did you start building this? These I actually didn't build. The okay. county actually built these, but I've actually been working at City Green for seven years now. Mm -hmm. and, uh, you... and I started off actually mowing, and I did such a great job at that. that Jennifer <laughs> kept me, which nice. is amazing, and I've been there now for seven years. You're talking about Shiltai's Farm? Yes. yes. Yep. Up yes. there on Broad Street. Yeah, yes. so he does exactly. a lot of builds up there. That's why I met him to get my little plot. Yeah, down Julian here. builds a lot of our school gardens and our yes. community gardens, but Julian's been the um, the point person for all the people who are signing up for plots here. Yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. he, that's, how, that's how we met. Yes, exactly. So we're really excited about um, doing this, and mm -hmm. um, I have a friend over there that I want. We met during the crisis, and we were feeding him. Anthony over there. So I want to go talk. So this is going to be a community of gardeners. Yes. And now I already I have a school teacher who's a friend, Ms. Chidiak. So that's mm -hmm. how we connected here. And then, um, so I already know Anthony. That's great. From St. Joe's. And uh, I'm excited about meeting some new friends. And the great thing about a public space like this is like last year, um, you know, we were hoping to open it to the public, but the, then the pandemic hit like right, you know, around when we would have been working on assigning these gardens. And so instead we gardened here and donated all of the produce to local food pantries for people in need during the pandemic. So even though like it's, you know, that wasn't its original purpose, it really served a great purpose for the community and now, you know, we're excited to actually So basically the garden. soil has already been treated for us by your mm -hmm. wonderful yeah. hands. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> I like to hear that so now I was like, okay, there was stuff growing yeah. there. And we add compost. Yep. Now so they had they had the water, they had the seed. You give them the seed. How's that work? Um we we do not, well, we have seeds we're giving away today as part of our opening, but in general, people will get their own plants and seeds and plant them. And take okay. Care of the garden themselves. Right. And you're just providing the access to the water. Yep. And then we also provide technical assistance. People can call us if they have trouble, or we can do trainings or workshops on how to garden and things like that. Right. Mm -hmm. And right now, you're having a plant sale. At yes, City right Green. now we're having a plant sale at uh, the, at the farm at 171 Grove Street, and all of our stuff is organic and it's been grown from seed by our farm right. team, and that's going on right now. I know that one of the restrictions was that we keep this uh, our garden organic and no yes. pesticides. So yes. that, we're going to learn that today. Yep, Julian's going to tell you mm -hmm. all about that. Yes. So as this goes on, you think that you'll be having some workshops down here for us? Yep. Maybe just for the gardeners? Yes, and... absolutely. Yeah. So, so we, we'll see we how do different grows. ones about composting and gardening 101 and, you know, how to preserve okay. your food, all kinds of things like that. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Anything you want to tell the people in the community? Or? Um, just to 
look us up on social media. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook, mm -hmm. and you'll learn all about the wide Farming. variety of programs we have. We have farm stands all summer long selling produce. We have a lot of um, educational opportunities, so look us up. Yeah. Any uh, concerts up at the uh, Schultheis Farm? We are probably going to do two. You know, we have been doing that like every week, the Twilight Farm Fest, we called it. Um, and we're going to roll that back this year, I think, one in Jul July and one in August. So if you look us up, you'll, you'll find that information. Get on the calendar. Mm -hmm. Did you have like an email list that you, that you subscribe to? You can sign to? up for our newsletter, too. Okay. Yes, exactly. Gotcha. So that's okay. all on our website. All right. Nice. Well, thank okay, you, so girls, okay. for speaking to thank us. Thank you so much yes, for this we're time. To be here. And we'll see if anybody comes. We'll we'll, we'll do a little bit more. But the ribbon cutting, right? We're cutting. Yes, ribbon. we're gonna we're gonna cut a ribbon and, right. and, and launch this great project. And this right now, I see people are showing up. So yeah. I'll let you get back, and I'm gonna go talk to Anthony. Okay. Thank, thank you. All right. Thank you. I'm so excited you're all here. Thank you for coming in the rain. Yeah. Uh, we want to get started, so you're not out here too long. Yeah. In the rain. So this is Jennifer Papa, the executive director of City Green. She's going to do a quick hello, and then uh, Julian, who I know many of you have spoken with, is going to. We're going to start with a tour of the garden space and kind of show you where everything is, so you can be familiar with it. Um, and then uh, I think we're going to do a ribbon cutting after that. Okay. It, yeah, if we're going to do a ribbon cutting to like formally launch the garden. We're waiting for one of the county commissioners to show up, but we don't want to keep everybody waiting. So I just wanted to welcome everybody and thank you for being here. We're so excited that we had like an immediate um, response to renting out all of the community garden beds. Um, we've been doing community garden projects since I think 2005. And so this is really exciting that this is in a public park um, in partnership with the Passaic County Board of County Commissioners. And um, I, I don't know if you heard me talking when we were doing the interview, but this was um, part of the renovation of Weasel Brook Park. So the county did this beautiful renovation of the entire park and had the vision to include a community garden as part of it. So we worked together on the design and City Green's going to administer it. And we're really excited about the turnout. Um, I was last year we were going to open it and of course the pandemic hit so we gardened here and we grew a lot of food in these beds and donated it to food pantries so we're excited that we were able to still put it to use but we're even more excited that we're going to have it for its original purpose which is community gardening. We hope that you guys will get to know each other and you know share gardening tips. Um, Julian will be around and um, able to support workshops if you guys wanted to host a workshop here about uh, gardening or composting or preserving the harvest or all different topics like that um, and really we're just thankful that you guys are excited to grow your own food so we wish you a really successful um, growing season and lots of good veggies and lots of like really nice sort of therapeutic time spent outside uh, in the garden so we're really excited about that so Julian is going to uh, give you guys a tour he's got the keys for all the locks um, show you where the water hookup is and all that kind of stuff so um, I'm going to turn it over to him. He has some, also some um, gardening 101 uh, packets. Packets, yeah. So in case anybody's new to gardening, we're here to support you. And we just want to let you know that if you need anything from us, you can contact Julian. And you know, you maybe you're a really experienced gardener, but maybe you're a beginner. And whatever you need, um, City Green's here to help you. So don't hesitate. Welcome. <laughs> Hi everyone. I'm the one that's been sending you all the emails. <laughs> so hello. Thank you for coming. Um, so I just want to show you around really fast and see okay. where everything is. I'm Sandy Lazaro. I'm one of your Passaic County Commissioners. Uh, I'm here. I'm just so excited about this. I have a garden at home. I just went to your place yesterday and got my plants. <laughs> they have a great sale at City Green on plants. Uh, it's a great way to get out. This is a great place to be and to plant. I hope you all take one of these gardens and that you get a lot of uh, fruits uh, vegetables out of it because it's just a great way to be and to partner with City Green I don't know if you've ever been to their um, farm but it's absolutely gorgeous and the plants that you get there will grow like wildfire so <laughs> good luck with this it's a great endeavor and of course as usual Jen we love working with City Green <laughs> thank you thank, thank you, you. Awesome. <laughs> all right we'll let Julian do a tour and then yeah. Okay, okay, so as soon as Sorry. you open through the front gate, we have our shed no, where you'll be able to store all your tools like your trowels, your handle, your hand rakes, whatever you have, uh, the locks. So every lock on here is for the one key that I'm going to give you. The one thing that the county did provide us was plenty of locks and all just one key, which is very nice. Um, so you'll be able to access the shed from there, access all three gates. Well, there's two gates no, here and then a gate here. 
Um, we have the picnic tables, brand new, very nice. We have our our story grove here. If you kind of just want to hang out under the under the tree. If it's on a hot day. Um, and then yeah, everybody should have you know their garden, their ema with uh, their garden plot. Um, we have water. Our access to water is here. We also have a hose. I'm pretty sure it's a 50 foot hose. So we are going to attach it here, and then you'll be able to reach wherever your garden bed is. The hose. I'm pretty sure it's going to be able to reach. If not, please let me know. We'll definitely get another extension or a longer hose. If you need a hose, you can contact me. I can get all the hoses you need. Even better. That's awesome. <laughs> so the way you turn, this is kind of old-fashioned. You're going to notice that it kind of goes down and kind of spills out. You just got to be careful. <laughs> but it does does work. A little old-fashioned, but it's very nice. Is that a well? I, I, I guess so. I, I guess it so. Well, yeah. It looks like it, right? Yeah, yeah it does. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, so if everybody has their plot, we'll hand out the pamphlets, the packets for you. And I'll go around and I'll give everybody a key. So let's start this way and I'll work around, all right? Hello. Oh. What did I say your phone was? E4. Thank you so much. Give me a key. Thank you so much, Charlie. So this one key is going to unlock every single phone. The lock that we have here. Here's your packet. We're going to go over all the rules and regulations. You have, you have packet. I don't need the key. No. <laughs> I'm okay. Brian, hey, how are you? Going? Okay, we'll do me now. Learned about asparagus. Oh yeah, that most like asparagus comes back. Oh yeah, sorry. Nice to meet you. This is not the time for plants. Oh, that's right. Asparagus. It actually, I believe it comes back every spring, like very, very early in the spring, and then it. Exactly. Oh, yeah. She's with me. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Did I miss yeah, anybody? Everybody has a key. Everybody has a packet. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. All right. So now we're going to go over the rules and regulations just one more time. Um, you should have gotten the email with the rules and regulations. Um, we're just going to go over it one more time, uh, just so you know the rules. And then we also have some sources are all back here. Again, welcome to the Weasel Brook Community Garden. I'm very happy we have so many participants here. That's very awesome. And, uh, and like I said, if you need anything, please feel free to call me or email me. Um, Sometimes I'm kind of out and about usually. So if you know you can't reach me uh, through the phone, please email me and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, this is actually one of our very, very busy times. So please forgive me if it takes me a little longer to get back to you. But trust me, I will always try to get back to you as soon as possible. If you have any questions, please, please email call and I will answer you guys as soon as possible. Thank you. Well, thank you for the applause. I'm so happy. <laughs> All right, so Enjoy. We're, we're going to do a quick ribbon cutting so everyone can stay where they are and we're going to do it kind of like right here. So maybe you guys just take a couple steps back and then uh, before you leave, we have a little giveaway. Some yeah, don't leave yet. I have a, a little gift for you guys.
on pot or do you want to stay? Thanks for coming out. Better to do team thing. Yeah, I see why. Yeah. 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 I have at least one of the hot. I know you. Julian, I'll get them to you. Yep. Okay. Hi. Hi. How are you doing? Joelle, right? Oh, very cool. Hi. Yeah. I'm gonna find the bag. Getting anxious? You're going to plant today? Yeah, a little bit. Wow. What are those things? So that's Swiss chard and a kale. couple types of lettuce and kale. Yeah. Okay. Sort of a... Uh, All right. What number are you? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> I think it's E1. Oh, great. Okay. Yeah. You're welcome. Happy yeah. planning. Thank you. Take care. Go ahead. I am Sandy Lazar. I'm the, one of your Passaic County Commissioners. And we work very closely with City Green to bring these gardens, such as the one we opened up today, all over the county. So people who may not have access to the outdoors and to have a garden of their own at their house, they can come here or any one of our parks and re or take over a spot to grow their own herbs and their own vegetables.